I don't care how talented he is. There's been plenty of talented. We've all played with really talented mm. players. If he'd have walked into a really strong dressing room with leadership, yep. they wouldn't have knocked all this stupidity out of him. But I think they'd have knocked quite a lot. Well, the Barcelona. He has, he has, that's that's strong, he has the trouble, that's though. He left a strong dressing yeah. room with leadership and talent and an understanding of, of club and what it takes to win a, at the highest level to go to PSG because he wanted to be the man. And, I, I, and in, in doing so, has, has made a total mockery of... I, I think PSG's own ambitions. So, Gab, you mentioned, mentioned before Manchester United, Real Madrid. Is it those two plus Barcelona who would have any sort of chance of putting up the sort of money that PSG would expect? Um, yeah, I mean, look, I mean, it, it's, it's finger in the air type uh, stuff right now. I, if you look at who has cash, uh, you would certainly point to Manchester United. Uh, Real Madrid... I don't know. I mean, they just signed Hazard. You, they still need to place uh, Gareth Bale and, uh, and of course, uh, James. And Barcelona, you know, if they're going to go for Griezmann. I don't see how they can get Griezmann and Neymar. So maybe the market isn't quite uh, as, as big as, as people expect. I'm not as negative as, as Craig is here. Uh, obviously, you know, his behavior has left a lot to be desired at times, but... Equally, he's also been a productive player for PSG. He's had an impact uh, commercially. Um, I read this more as, you know, Nasser calling him out. And, you know, especially now that he's got time on his hands and isn't at the Copa America, uh, you know, an opportunity to kind of think and reflect about what he wants to do. But given also Paris Saint-Germain have serious financial fair play issues, as we know, um, if there's the opportunity for Neymar to disappear and, you know, a couple hundred million to appear in his place, yeah. then, you know, maybe you can you can actually really strengthen the squad if you're intelligent about it. Leonardo's back as director of football, you know, and, and start building the squad around Kylian Mbappe. Uh, no, oh, one second, one second. Gab, tell, tell, me, tell me where the, the productivity has come for PSG via Neymar. Please don't tell me league on. No, no, but, I mean, if you look at, if you look at the Champions League... Uh, if you look, yeah, they didn't go and win the Champions League, but if you look at the circumstances in which that they've been, you know, they've been knocked out um, the last couple of years, you know, it took that that superhuman comeback the, 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 uh, against Barcelona. You know, they've had, they've certainly had their moments, and they feel that that you know, and, and Neymar has been a part of that. You can't just come out and say that. You know, the guy's been, been rubbish and he's been taking a mick for the mick for the last three years. He's also suffered two very serious injuries, uh, which ended his season early the last two seasons. I, I mean, I think that goes into the mix as well. You know, I, I, I think basically he was, he's been surrounded by enablers at Paris Saint-Germain. And what, what Nasser's doing is saying, all right, enough, no more of this. You know, we expect a different standard from you. And, and while also giving him the out, opening the door... If somebody wants to come in and take him and, and make a serious offer, and remember, it's not just about however many million you pay Paris Saint-Germain. You also have to be willing to take his contract, which runs through 2022. Uh, no, I think, once, I, I think I can come out and say he's pretty much been taken to make because he has. I mean, are we try to paint over this. What is he, okay, they've won league on again. So, so what? Mm. He's had a he's had a, a couple of injuries. Well, it's, it's, so what? He's, it happens to everybody. He, he's basically treated it as, as some sort of little plaything. Uh, let's I mean, yes. And the, and the other side of this coin, by the way, and the, uh, Man United have the money. Why the hell would him or anybody else go to Man United? Right. What for? Does, do you think Neymar wants to play Europa League football? 